So most people do keyword research by checking Google Autocomplete, which suggests searches as you type. Now that's good, but it can only take you so far. In today's video, I'll show you a just as easy way to do keyword research, but using ChatGPT instead. So let's get started. Okay, so the easiest way you can do keyword research is to use specific prompts. Now, we will be using prompts provided by Keywords Everywhere. So make sure you have the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on installed, then log in to ChatGPT. Now, you'll notice this Templates button on the left-hand side. So when you click on it, it'll open up the ChatGPT Prompt Templates widget. Now, this widget contains all types of prompts from copywriting, marketing, SEO, social media, productivity, and prompts for specific professionals. But today, we want to do keyword research. So to get access to the keyword research prompts, we need to go to SEO. And for the subcategory, we're going to select keyword research. Now, Keywords Everywhere has four specific keyword research prompts that you could use to do highly effective and powerful keyword research really simply and quickly. So instead of using Google and typing out your term to find some long tail keywords that Google Autocomplete suggests, what we can do is click on this long tail keyword generator so that ChatGPT can provide us with some long tail keywords for our head term. So all we do is provide it with our seed keyword. Let's say it's plants for offices. And by the way, you can select a variety of languages and we can tell ChatGPT how many keywords we want it to generate. Let's say we want it to generate a total of 20 long tail keywords for our head term of plants for offices. So this is the entire prompt template. So just click on execute template. All right, so here we go. We have a list of keywords separated by commas right here and the same keywords nicely organized in this table and there are a total of 20 keywords. So again, this is the prompt provided by Keywords Everywhere. As we can see, it says, you are a keyword research expert that speaks and writes fluent English. And it says, I want you to generate a list of 20 long tail keywords for plants for offices. And it continues. So now we have this nicely organized table with all the long tail keywords for plants for offices. So we can see best plants for office desks, low light office plants, benefits of plants in office, and so forth. And it also provided us with the search intent. Now, this is also very important to know because we want to know exactly what type of content we need to create if we want to target these specific keywords. So as we can see here, most of the search intent for these keywords are informational with a couple of transactional and also a couple of commercial and one local intent keyword. So within a few seconds, we are doing long tail keyword research using ChatGPT. Now let's see what other prompts Keywords Everywhere has. So we are going to click on the templates button and for the templates dropdown, let's say we want to go a little more broad and find some related keywords associated with our head term. So I'm gonna click on related keyword generator and put our seed keyword here. I'm gonna put down 20, then click on execute template. Okay, so now we have 20 keywords that are a little more broad than the initial list of keywords it generated earlier. So these keywords are closely related to our seed keyword of plants for offices. So we can see here greenery for workspace, desk foliage, interior plant decor, and so forth. So there are a couple of things you can do with this specific list of keywords. You can add these keywords into your body copy to make sure that the content is very semantically related to the topic that you are writing about. Because if you think about it, most people when they speak and type don't necessarily write out or type out the exact keyword that you are targeting. So you want to modify those phrases a little bit to make it sound a little more natural and use similar keywords and terms that are associated with your main topic. So if you sprinkle in these keywords into your body copy, you'll be making your article a little bit more holistic. Now, the other reason you might want to use this list of keywords is to figure out what additional pieces of content you can create. Sometimes you might be stuck in terms of what content to produce, but using this list of keywords will kind of open up your mind and figure out what related terms, what more broader keywords 
are associated with your topic that you can potentially write some articles around. So maybe you haven't thought of cactus for the office. So we can see here office cactus suggestions. Maybe you haven't thought of artificial greenery, right? So here there's a keyword that says artificial greenery options and so forth. Okay, let's go to the next prompt. So we are going to click on templates and for the drop down, let's click on get search intent for keywords. So let's say you were doing keyword research maybe on Google, like what we mentioned earlier, or maybe on another keyword research tool, but you want to figure out what type of content to create. Is it more informational, transactional piece of content? And that again is very, very important. So let's just say we have this list of keywords right here, but we just don't know the search intent. So what we can do is paste those keywords in here, then click on execute template. So now ChatGPT will provide us with the search intent for all the keywords that we provided it, which gives us a lot more information in terms of what type of content we need to be producing for these keywords. Okay, so let's go to the last prompt. So I'm gonna click on keyword strategy. Now I really like this prompt template because ChatGPT will basically act as your content strategist or SEO expert. So you give it your seed keyword and you tell it how many keywords you want and ChatGPT will develop a full SEO content plan for you. All right, so in just a few minutes, ChatGPT provided us with this entire content plan that's all around the plants for offices seed keyword we provided it. Okay, so we can see here it says create a table with a list of 40 closely related keywords for an SEO strategy plan for the main keyword plants for offices. So we can see it categorized all of the keywords here. So we can see office desk plants. And then the next category is air purifying plants and then easy care plants and so forth. And then we have the exact target keyword in the next column. And of course the search intent. And it also provided us with the title and the page description. So all we need to do is just follow this content plan, right? So we can create an article around best plans for office desks and use this same title and description. And then we can write another article on low light office plants with this same title and description as well. So ChatGPT provided us with months worth of content that we can follow to write articles for our website. Now, before ChatGPT, creating this type of content plan would take us um, days and weeks to create, but within a matter of seconds, we have an entire content plan for the next few months up to a year, depending how many keywords you want it to help you uh, generate for you. Okay, so as you could see, this is the easiest way to do keyword research with ChatGPT using the powerful prompt templates provided by Keywords Everywhere. So hopefully you learned and enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.